Performing a continuity test on your transformers helps to prove the integrity of their coils, ensuring the windings aren't broken or improperly connected. Most multimeters are equipped with an ohm setting, which we can use to perform our continuity test. By touching the two probes together, the display should read zero ohms, and if equipped, will emit an audible sound. First, we need to test continuity across the primary winding. To do this, take one probe and touch the H1 bushing, and touch the other probe to the H2 bushing. The display should read zero, and if equipped, it should emit the audible sound. This will let you know that the primary winding is one continuous piece. Next, you want to test the secondary winding. To do this, take each probe and go across the secondary bushings. The display should read zero ohms, and once again, if it's equipped, it should emit an audible sound. This will let you know that the secondary winding is also one continuous piece. To make sure the primary and secondary windings aren't connected, run a test from the H1 bushing to each secondary bushing. And then from the H2 bushing to each secondary bushing. In each test, the display should not read zero, nor should any audible sound be heard if equipped. Performing a continuity test before loading a transformer onto the truck can save you from sending a bad unit out to the job site, as well as prevent you from energizing a faulty transformer, which could lead to a potentially dangerous situation. Continuity tests are also helpful when having to troubleshoot transformers.